Tyler, tonight we're going to see the South High Red Wings host Crosstown rival Sheboygan North. Hello, everybody. Alongside the coach, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin for Game 2, Chris. Uh, the first one wasn't too exciting. I think we'll see a better game uh, the second one. Uh, but North comes in playing good basketball. South uh, a little bit iffy, but you'd think with the gravity of the game and uh, wanting to show a little bit more than the girls did, it should be a good ball game. Yeah, you know, we expected a close game in the, in the girls' game. And the first game for the boys, we mentioned earlier during the girls' game that, you know, South just fell way too far behind in the first half. And I anticipate them playing at home to be, to be in the in the ballpark or in the game and see what happens uh, tonight playing against Sheboygan North. Uh, I think for Sheboygan South, one of the keys to their basketball game is to they got to make threes. AJ Gutierrez, you know, uh, Tyler Gunther, those kids got to make some threes. Logan Hamilton got in foul trouble last game. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. See what he can do on offense. You know, if South hits some three pointers and things like that. Things go well. They might pull off the upset. My second question, Chris, is what has South got to do from the three-point line? <laughs> Speaking defense, I think one thing that uh, is very, very important for South is they've got to control uh, Davis Larson. Uh, if they let him go off, it's going to be a tough road to hold. I've been thinking about it all day, and, you know, one of the biggest problems for well, basically any team in the conference, but especially at South, is who's going to stop Davis Larson or who can control Davis Larson. He's such a great basketball player and does so many things. He can drive to the basket, and if he doesn't score, he's just so smooth there. He's he's worked on his three-point shot. He's making those things. And then when he drives to the basket, he draws a lot of attention from the defenses, and he kicks it out, and then Hosentine can make a three, or Sinellis can make a three. The other big matchup problem is Sam Kaminsky. He's six foot eight. South doesn't have anybody that tall. So you're talking about two big players for Sheboygan North that are, are a real problem for Sheboygan South. My next question has to do with Sam Kaminsky. What is so <laughs> By the way, Sean's standing right alongside cameraman Eric and uh, he was commenting on our uh, broadcast by yawning. <laughs> but uh, so let's talk a little bit about North then. Uh, you had mentioned about the three-point shooting for South. What does North need to do to uh, be successful tonight? By the way, let's comment that they are right in the hunt for the conference uh, first place in the conference. Yeah, they got two big ball games coming up yet at home. They got Bayport and DePierre. DePierre still leading the conference by game over those two schools. So they got revenge on their mind, but that's for a later thing. You know, for North, they just... Once again, we, they, I keep hearing it on TV. Every time I'm watching college basketball games, it's tempo. Sheboygan North likes to press, turn it over. They want this game up in the 70s and 80s like they have been all year. So they just got to get out and go. It seems like Zach Hosenstein's kind of found his stroke a little bit last couple of games. And we've already talked about Davis and Kaminsky, but Ethan Sinales is starting to hit some three-pointers too. So they are just on a roll, one of the best teams in the state. And our community should be really proud of these young boys. One thing we saw in that Pulaski game, Chris, was the press wasn't working in the first half, and uh, North pulled it off. Do uh, you think they would do that again tonight, or are they going to be successful pressing south? Yeah, that's a really good point, Marty. That was something that Coach Chesitel doesn't like to do, likes to stay with himself. I think it was a great coach move. Let's see how South handles that. Press. You know, Tyler Ginther, we talked about him before, and Splitgerber, they're going to have to handle the rock in the backcourt, see what they can do to turn it over. You know, we talked about the Temple for North, speeding it up. Let's see how South handles that press. They probably want the game more in the 60s and 50s because they haven't been scoring very well. They're struggling. But one other thing about South, we keep saying it all year. This was a basketball team that a year ago, their juniors were, you know, basically conference champs are right there. So they know how to win. It's just been a tough, tough struggle for them this year. I hardly heard or heard a word you said. And looking at the band over here, we have twice as many band members as during our inner, our opening of the girls' game. That's because we've got a combined north-south group right now. They sound pretty good. Yeah, they do. And it's a thing they've been trying to get the alumni out the last game for North. This time to combine the two schools. And I think it's something, again, I mentioned in the opening, the north-south games are pretty special. So it matter football or swimming or cross-country or basketball, which seems to get all, a lot of the hype. It's just nice to see the community come together. And, you know, when it's all said and done, we're Sheboygan. It's not north or south. We all got to work as, together as, as one city. The band definitely came together on that song. We're going to step out. We'll come back. We'll have the, uh, op the starting lineups and the opening tip-off for the second ball game tonight.
It's not always easy being a dad. Do you have panda asthma too? Does that run in the family? This is the home of the most priceless kung fu artifacts. But when you make an effort... Yeah, we're not supposed to touch anything. Oh, sorry. Go along, son! It's always worth it. Whoa! The smallest moments can have the biggest impact on a child's life. Take time to be a dad today. I am gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Call 877-4DAD411 or visit fatherhood.gov to learn more. Wow, these are really good. You act surprised. Practice makes perfect. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of teens in foster care who don't need perfection. They need you. If you drive buzzed, it could cost you around $10,000. You'll face major legal fees, major fines, and steep insurance penalties. You could lose everything. Buzzed, busted, and broke. Because buzz driving is drunk driving. We taught him how to hit a baseball. How to hit a receiver. The strike zone. The net. You taught him how to hit the upper corner. You even taught him how to hit the open man. But how much time have you spent teaching him what not to hit? We're back at uh, South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse. We have the national anthem and the starting lineup, so we'll turn it over to the uh, floor announcer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Sheboygan South High School. Tonight's game features a visiting Sheboygan North Golden Raiders against your South High Red Wings. Tonight, singing the national anthem, we have 2011 South High candidate Catherine Henry, who is finishing her undergraduate degree in vocal performance at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. She recently won the UW-Milwaukee Symphony Orchestra Concerto and Aria competition and first place in the upper college women category at the national level of the NATS student auditions. In 2015, she was the youngest of nine finalists in the Metropolitan Opera National Council auditions and had the opportunity of a lifetime to sing on the Metropolitan Opera stage at only 22 years old. And if that is not enough, she will be singing at the Democratic National Debate next week. Ladies and gentlemen, Katie Henry. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glow bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled And now for tonight's starting lineups. First for the Sheboygan North Golden Raiders, number 11, Ethan Sinellas. Number 23, Zach Hassenstein. Number 33, Sam Kaminsky. Number 35, Julian Jones. And number 44, David Larson. 
The Golden Raiders are coached by Tom Desitel. Assistant coaches are Andy Bonestro, Nolan Free, and Lewis Halverson. And now, the Stony lineups for your Sheboygan South High School Red Wings. Number five, Tyler Ginther. Number 10, Jared Splinkerberg. Number 12, A.J. Gutierrez. Number 23, Jared Goldbeck. And number 33, Logan Hamilton. The Rangers are coached by Mike Rank, assistant coach Jeff Bristo. The officials for tonight's game are Brad Baumgart, Dan Donald Van Dersen, and Scott Vanden Heuvel. These individuals are registered by the Wisconsin Interscholastic Athletic Association. Their experience and integrity qualify them to administer the rules of the game. And tonight's athletic trainer from Purveyor Sports Medicine is the one and only Maggie Bauer. Bauer with the B. North comes into the game 14 and 2, 10 and 2 in conference. South 4 and 11, 3 and 8 in conference. Uh, more important for uh, North to win, stay in contention for the conference crown. South, of course, would love nothing more than to uh, put uh, their crosstown rivals one more game back. Kaminsky uh, controls the tap. Not a very good toss, but uh, North has it. Jones driving to the lane. Short-armed it a li little bit, and uh, Govac come, came away with the rebound. A kick out to Hamilton, but Jones is out on him quickly. Let's not forget that uh, Sheboygan South went up to Bayport and beat them in their house. So this team is can be dangerous. Good work by Hamilton to get it to the open. Uh, A.J. Gutierrez, and he scores. I said South's going to have to make threes tonight. A.J., Tyler. South kind of playing a mixed-up zone here tonight. Looks like a, a triangle and two. There's a double dribble, good call. If I'm not mistaken, we'll have to look at that again the next time. Gutierrez had uh, Davis Larson was all over him. That was part of the problem. Jones had no one to pass it to. Spuddy gonna work on Hosenstein here. Spuddy using offhand to create space. Gotta be careful on that. Gutierrez trying to drive it in, lost it. And Hamilton trying to gather it in, lost it. Hosenstein going hard to the basket. But Kaminsky follows up with the dunk. You know, it wasn't just that, Marty. And here's another turnover by AJ. Hosenstein with a layup scores. There was no white shirts back that time, Marty. Good grief. Four blue shirts down there, not one back, one the only one to defend it. Ginther in the lane but couldn't score. Good defense played by Sinellis. A ball is tipped away. Jones lost it out of bounds. A little too quick by the Raiders. They had an opening but uh, didn't control it. And uh, Nate Winter is going to make an early entrance into the ball game. 16-11 left. Get a sub in yep. for Jones. Coach Desitel has been noted for that. In his 39th year, when kids make mistakes, they go to the bench. It's like Bobby Knight said, the best motivator is the bench. Larson on Gutierrez. It's a good matchup. Should be harder for AJ to get shots off because uh, Larson is a little bit taller. Double dribble there by Hamilton Miss. Kovic goes right to the rack. And Takes it hard to the basket. You're right and scores. That was a good play. North coming off a big victory against Notre Dame. Game was not even close. Step back three by uh, Hosenstein is no good. Reverse layup by Sinellis is good. Horrible shot. Nothing South could do with that one there. North uh, applying full court pressure. Split Gerber has no trouble with it. And we're going to get a charge on Logan Hamilton. Nate Winter did a good job of standing in there and taking the charge. 
Thing that North South didn't want was getting uh, Logan in that foul trouble right away. F three minutes in, <coughs> foul number one. Just keep an eye on number 33. Rolling down to 15 minutes left in the first half. Six to five North. Good pass into uh, Kaminsky. He couldn't get it, got the offensive rebound and put it back up and in. He has four points. Said Kaminsky and Davis are gonna be a matchup problem. Davis hasn't even shot the ball yet. Split Gerber found an opening down the lane but couldn't get the layup in and Kaminsky comes away with the rebound. Hasenstein forcing against three South players. Not a good play there and he'll be coming out. Julian Jones is already at the table. Yeah, Ozzy's forced a couple again. Just let the game come to you, Zach. You're a good player. Step back three by Hamilton is no good. Larson with the strong rebound over Govec and Gutierrez. Sinellis open from the three, couldn't get it to go. Didn't he, have his feet set. Yeah, I was gonna say he hit a couple from there the last time we saw North play in that Pulaski game. That was, wasn't really his regular shot. Go back with a nice catch. Gutierrez being guarded by Davis Larson. And going right around the defense was uh, Tyler Ginther, but he couldn't get the shot to go. Nice pass inside to Winter. His shot is no good. Kaminsky with the offensive rebound and the soft touch, he puts it up and in. Sam's got three offensive rebounds, Marty. <coughs> I know there's a little height difference there, but you gotta get a body on him. Kaminsky gonna... laying off Hamilton, Chris. Did you notice that? Outside the three-point line. line. Oof. Deep. Govec, no good. Or Ginther, pardon me. Tyler Ginther on that miss. Deep three. Larson leaning, no good. Guess who? And Kaminsky again. You might say he was over the back and you'd be absolutely right. The difference is he didn't make any contact, so it, it's okay. Five minutes, seven rebounds for Sam, four on the offensive end. Somebody's gotta get a body on him. And here he comes, Dylan Martins. Had a ch chance to talk with Dylan a little bit this morning. He's no longer at Wilson. Second semester. You know, we talked about that before. You got to get a body. I, mean, I don't care if there's a height difference. You got to put your body in there and, like you said there, make him go over the top of you there, but you got to get a body. Allowing that many offensive rebounds in this short a period is just not doing your job. Kaminsky puts a couple of free throws in. He has eight points and it's 12 to five north. Turnover, Larson with a three. Had a good look but couldn't get it. Tyson Reese on the push. Uh, good idea, dish it off to Martins, but uh, pass couldn't be handled by either team. South will keep it. Five turnovers on South, way too many. That's why they're down by seven. Winter guarding uh, Tyson Reese. Aye, aye, Almost aye. intercepted, but uh, Again, North too much in a hurry. That's the one thing about Tyson's game I don't like is he has a tendency to turn the ball over too many times. We saw him have a nice basketball game against Mantwalk. Yeah, that was his high game of the year. AJ Gutierrez, nothing but the bottom of the net. 12 to eight. Kaminsky, shot in the lane, got the bounce. He's got 10 points in just five minutes. Where are you going, Tyson? Uh, don't blame it on Dylan Martins. He got to dribble around right. him, man. <laughs> Should have been a travel. Ball is on Winter. South got a bail out there. Yep. Kaminsky getting a well-deserved rest and uh, coming in for him is uh, Evan Plotz. And another turnover. turnover. Larson, oh, that's a bad fall. Somebody's gonna get hurt, AG, and that's not what this game's about. All started with another bad decision with the basketball. Yeah, you see it, Harry, watch this. Yeah, that's not good. 
Call an intentional foul on A.J. Gutierrez. That's his first. Larson will shoot a pair, and then North will get the ball out of bounds. <coughs> Davis, 19-7 a game. As we mentioned before, going to Hillsdale. We didn't Cut. mention uh, scoring at the beginning of the broadcast, but uh, Larson averaging 19-7, like you said. Hosenstein averaging 16. Kaminsky up to just under 11 at uh, nine, at 10.9. He's been getting much better though, Marty. Yep, you definitely. Ethan Sinellis has uh, gone up slightly too. He's at 7.6, but uh, he's proved to be uh, Larson in the lane, it's rimmed out. Good rebound by Dylan Martins. Gutierrez is taken over for South. Well, I like right the way they can attack. We saw Pulaski been able to attack, attack uh, the North defense too. They got to the lane a lot, Pulaski did, and then of course they started hitting those threes. Dylan Martins with the foul. That's the uh, fourth team foul on South. Going to the line is uh, Julian Jones. Good shot of Julian. Oh. Rebound by Plotz. His putback is no good, but he's fouled. He'll be shooting two. Six offensive rebounds in six minutes for North. Martins picks up another foul, Chris. And again, that's just not doing your job. North started the ball game making five free throws in a row. Logan Hamilton comes in for uh, Dylan Martins. Well, he's got two fouls and right. didn't get the offensive rebound. And now they've missed uh, two, but they made that one. Sam right back in the game. It's 18 to 10, plots out. The press has been a problem for South so far. There you're gonna get Hazy. Hazy a little late, had the right idea, but uh, didn't get there in time. This is first, North's just second foul. <coughs> North applying the full court pressure. You know, South did a much better job the first game handling the press than they are right now. Tyson Reese down the lane, got it in over the long hand of uh, Davis Larson. I didn't know how I was gonna find the hoop, but he did. Yeah, exactly, you're right there. Jones, shot fake out, Hamilton off his feet. Sinellis lost the ball. Wow. Third turnover on North. Govek, bango! I'll tell you what, South not played very well in the first seven minutes, Marty, but they're only down by three. Yep, they got their sea legs, you're right. They got down 12 to five. Now they've come back. They're leaving Jones open, but he's not gonna take that three. Larson's shot no good, the putback no good. The putback is good the third time. Again, rebounding. Hamilton with a pump fake, refused to take the shot. Ginther has it on top, being guarded by Sinellis. Good help by Hosenstein. Hamilton, again refusing to take the three, Chris. And I would think it was a good decision. He wanted to force that there, and he's going against the 6'8 Kaminsky. Where are you going? Where are Julian you going? Jones hustling, almost made the save. What the? Nolan Free made the big save on the sideline. No, he didn't. He should have stood there and caught his player. He gets out of the way, Nolan. What are you doing? Didn't want to ruin his suit. <laughs> he kept him from falling on the floor. I, I saw his parents before the game, too. <laughs> Nolan gets out of the way. 
Hamilton shoots that time and nails it. I think Daddy was yelling at him from the stands. <laughs> Twenty to eighteen, North on top. Sinellis open for just a second. He couldn't get it, but Julian Jones gets the rebound. Of course they do. South needs as boy. Sinellis was wide open underneath. He's not open anymore. Govac sees him back there, inside to Kaminsky, and he puts it in. Great pass by Hasenstein. Yep. Where are you Reese? going? Where are you going? That's. He's uh, pretty fortunate. Bailed out again. Kaminsky picks up the foul. That's his first. Third team foul on North. Reese has uh, three points, a basket and a free throw now. Split Gerber in. Gutierrez getting a good, a well-deserved rest. I won't keep him out long. Jesse Montalvo in for... Uh, and Govec out long. Yeah, right, exactly. Shooter's touch there, it's yep. 22 to 20. North on top. Checking in while we weren't looking was Austin Wrightbrock for North. South manning up. Yeah. Or are they still in that zone? It looks like a matchup type something. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you this, North doesn't look that great on offense. But That's Swinsky what? takes care of that. Another basket by uh, Sam. Another offensive rebound by North. He's uh, been where he needs to be, and that's around the basket. Staying low on Hamilton, trying to prevent the three-point attempt. Ten offensive rebounds for North in the first ten minutes. Ginther had it. Good pass inside to Montalvo. His shot rims out. Tip back is no good. Kaminsky with the board. Rolling down to the eight-minute mark. Hasenstein, hard to the hoop, couldn't get it. Rebound, Guess up, what? and no good, but he's fouled. How many times are you going to let them have second chances? And you're only down by four. <coughs> I would say Sam Kaminsky probably has at least four baskets, three for sure, on uh, offensive rebounds. And uh, North has gotten to the line a couple of times because of that offensive rebounding. Larson coming out, Ethan Snellis back in. Tyson out of the ball game. Kaminsky with five offensive rebounds, six of seven from the floor, nine rebounds. Hasenstein on a one for two trip, he has three points. AJ Gutierrez was back in, oh boy. Larson no good, but Sinellis commits the foul. Now there is a ball that uh, Kaminsky should have had, would have saved his team a foul and given him a possession. Lucky, lucky break for South there. Well, they're hustling too, well, but turnover. not always making some good decisions, not that's on the for passing. sure. That no. should have been a turnover there. Yep. Logan lucky to scoop that one up. Get the ball to bounce in. Sergi Molitor and Sean Delahunt working that floor camera. Richard Bartson up here by us. Hamilton a one for two trip. Keep him out of foul trouble. Eric Wiesman in the truck running graphics. Scott Mailoff, our director. Chris Wright doing color tonight. And Mike Martin doing the play by play. I'll tell you, we were going through a little bit of withdrawal, Chris, wouldn't you say, after we had that game canceled on us last week? It was a long time between Tuesday, ball games. Yep. And we had a great game last Friday, Pulaski and North. Yeah, that was an excellent game to call. Caught a bit of a bummer in the girls' game. Hopefully this boys' game will be a little better. So far it is. Montalvo, not bashful. Sinalis hustling on the board. Great job by Ethan. 
keep it alive for North. Right Brock stepping into a three but couldn't get it. Kaminsky got the offensive rebound, gets it over to Hasenstein who misses the easy shot and Montalvo comes away with it for South. Oh, that's a goal Yeah, goaltend. that could have been a goal 10 there and then we're gonna get a foul on Tyler Ginther on a hold. That'll be his first. The action hot and heavy here at the Acuity Fieldhouse at South High. And Tanellis is, uh, looks like he turned an ankle, Chris. They're helping him off the floor. Oh, gee, never want to see that. Well, Tom says, get out on the floor. Chris Lenz is saying he can't go, coach. Get a sub in. So Larson checks in. <laughs> kind of reminds me of that game I was umping for you last year, and you came out of the dugout and said, we're stopping right now, it's raining. And I said, I'll make that decision. <laughs> Chris Lenz is saying he's got to come out. Coach Desatel is saying, I'll make that decision. <laughs> In that case, the trainer won out. Round and out. Govek with the rebound. By the way, you were right. Three-point attempt is no good. Good pressure that time by Kaminsky on that attempt. That was a force again there. Jones refusing to take the three, takes it to the hoop and scores though. Showing good quickness to the basket. Very nice. Where are you going? Tyson Reese looking to go one-on-one. -on -one. Little too much dribbling. Allen Iverson has nothing on him, I'll tell you that. Right, Brock. Jones with a three, he's got it. Hey. Another country heard from Chris. You don't see a lot of threes from him. And a whistle on the sideline. What do we got? Falls on number 31, that'd be right, Brock. <laughs> You're gonna see it. Good replay, Scott. It's about time you do something in there. <laughs> Just Chris remember, told me to say that. Remember, you can <laughs> shut your mic off. <laughs> oh my, Get another force. wide open on a Jeez. double screen. Gutierrez with a three. I thought he was inside the line, but apparently not. He's having a nice ball game, Chris. It's 30 to 24. He's got 11 points already. Larson with a leap and leaner in the lane scores. Plots guarding uh, Logan Hamilton. A good defense by uh, Larson to prevent the swing pass over to uh, Gutierrez, who would have been open. A lot of red cheeks out there, Chris, meaning they're uh, hustling both sides, red and blue. White and blue, I should say. Oh, we roll under five minutes. So I've got to see if they can crawl back in here. Good help by Plotz, preventing the baseline drive. Govek on right, Brock scores. Nice drive by uh, Jared. He's three for three. Jones is hot. Oh. Jones lost it, and tipped over to uh, Tyler Ginther. And if Plotz doesn't come down, he probably gets a block and no foul called, but as soon as he came down, he gets called for the foul. And for uh, Evan, that's his first. North has uh, six team fouls, South has seven. And he's 
got the second one. 32 to 28. North. Chris Lacey in the ball game along with Winter. Lacey takes a two pointer, no good. Got the follow though. Good hustle by Chris, puts it up and in. Another offensive rebound. Yeah, there's been a bunch of them for, for North, you're right. North sticking with the full court pressure. Unofficially, I have 14 offensive rebounds. That's unbelievable. That is. That's a, more than a game's worth. And the thing is, that every time you do that, you get second opportunity at the basket. I mean, you just, you're giving the other team that many more opportunities to score. That's why you trail by six. Wovak looking for an opening, being guarded by Jones. Split Gerber. Got through the baseline, nothing oh, there. Gives it up force. to uh, it goes. Ginther, but he nails a three. Not a lot of space there. 34-31, Kaminsky in the lane, scores. The money man tonight. He's got 16 points. Splitgerber goes right around the defense. Gutierrez aye, aye, shot aye. is no good. Winter comes away with the loose ball. Jones able to step into a three wow. and he nails another one. Good pass by Larson. He's made his last three baskets, including two threes. Kaminsky puts some pressure on that three ball, no good. Good tip by Jones and Lacey comes away with the loose ball. A good hustle there by uh, Ginther to yep. uh, steal the ball away from North. Yep. That pass was wide open, but Tyler hustled there. AJ with a, AJ with a two point attempt. I thought he did the right thing, Chris, to pull up and take that 12 footer. Well, he looked to the right and then he decided to shoot it. If he would have looked at the basket the whole time. Might have been different. Yep. Action hot and heavy here at the Acuity Fieldhouse. North takes a timeout. It's a full timeout, so we'll take a short break. No. Uh, Maybe not. Better keep it here, Scott. Yeah, it's a th 30. <laughs> By the way, you had mentioned this, and I know I told you this. There are people watching us from around the world. Yeah. At least Virginia, uh, Arizona. <laughs> yep. Your mom yep. and dad? Yep. Well, they uh, watch us from out there. I know yeah. I watched you guys uh, in a football game this year when my wife and I were out in Arizona. It's pretty cool. Although we'd rather have you here in the gym. Yep. Not as good crowd tonight as the first game. Uh, I don't want to uh, say anything against South, but I think the Northsiders have them outnumbered. Rolling down to the two-minute mark. South's got to keep this close. It's an eight-point game with two minutes left. And there's Inside gonna be, to Kaminsky. Oh. Missed the shot. Rebound. Put back is no good, but he is fouled. He'll be shooting free throws. But another offensive rebound. Foul is on Hamilton, Chris. That's his second foul. And that's what they didn't need either. <laughs> Dylan Martin at the table is going to check in. Sam Kaminsky was wide open under the basket to get that pass under the paint. There wasn't a white shirt anywhere near him. And he got a shot attempt, got a rebound, and a second shot. We've got uh, Sam three for three from the line, three for four now. 40 to 31 north on top. Reese in the game. Jeez. Shot attempt is no good. Larson with the strong rebound, almost had it tipped away. Minute and a half. North with a chance to put this lead into double figures. Right, Brock, open. Bango. 
Nice pass from Hosenstein. That's a 12 point lead, largest lead of the half by uh, the North Side. Yeah, it was real close, and all of a sudden now. Montalvo just couldn't get it to drop in. Got it up on the rim. Larson's shot is blocked, but cleaning up the, the garbage is Kaminsky, and he puts the rebound up and in. Another offensive board in a basket. And let me count this out here. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11 point run, Chris. Ooh. It was 34 to 31 North, and they've run off 11 straight points. I said the final two minutes just gotten away. That timeout was by uh, South High, I believe, Chris. You know, we've, we've been talking about offensive rebounds on the North End. South, on the other hand, one offensive rebounds. Talk about a difference in the game. Offensive they, rebounds. I always say that rebounds is the most overrated stat because, of course, if the other team misses, then you're going to have more rebounds. But offensive rebounds win you ball games. Yeah. And nobody has been accounting for uh, Sam Kaminsky this half. It's uh, not been good. Good hustle by Larson to cut off the baseline. Smithgerber trying to force the action. We're under a minute, 49 seconds left. Right Brock guarding Smithgerber. South working the double screen at the top. Couldn't get anything out of it. Golvec out to Hamilton. North playing the good D, 25 seconds left. Down 14, going for one shot. Now they do get the ball to start the second half, Marty. You know, whistle underneath, I'm not sure what it's all about. The officials are coming together. Sixteen point three seconds left on the clock. Score is 45 to 31 North. I'm not sure what that's all about. Team falls, 8-6. Both scoreboard. Some type of miscommunication, Chris. Salt will keep it. Rolling down to the 10-second uh, mark. Larson guarding Split Gerber. Gee whiz. Ginther shot is no good, and that's the half. North finishes the half on an 11 point run. They lead it at halftime, 45 to 31. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. You've messed up your son's haircut. Mom? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you've got. Or C, show solidarity. Thank you. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. of advisor, Mr. Ryan Summersberger.
visit aarp.org slash caregiving for information on how to provide even better care for the person who wants to care of you. Taking care of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Thomas, you've got prediabetes, but with more exercise and a change in diet, it can be reversed. I've tried exercising. It, it just makes me hungry for bacon. I love bacon, too. And who really likes to exercise? Not me. <laughs> me neither. Nobody. I... <laughs> <laughs> so we're good? What? Oh, you still have prediabetes. Big time. When I was six, my days were spent playing basketball. When I was six, my dream was to make it to the NBA. When I was six, my mom had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Maybe he's really focused. Hey, Michael. Michael. Maybe he likes spinning the wheels. Maybe he just loves trucks. Maybe he's just being a boy. Preoccupation with objects is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. Your daughter just had her first breakup. Do you A, put yourself in her shoes? B, console her? Don't worry, sweetie. This is gonna happen a lot. Or C, find her a new boyfriend. Nice single boy. <laughs> that was weird. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Back at South High School's Acuity Fieldhouse where North leads it 45 to 31. Leading scores in that first half. Let's go through North. Snellis had two, Lacey had two, Hosenstein three, Evan Plotz nailed a free throw for one. Wright Brock had a three pointer. Kaminsky had 19 points. He was the star of the game in the first half. Julian Jones had nine. He had a great half. And Davis Larson did a lot of the little things. Didn't score a lot, he had six points, but did a lot to help his team. Tyson Reese off the bench had four points, doing a nice job for the Red Wings. Tyler Ginther, three. A.J. Gutierrez had 11 points and a half. Got a few early and then uh, quieted down late in the, set in the first half. Jared Goback had nine. Logan Hamilton, four. I thought he passed up a few shots that he could have taken. South in the first half was five for six at the line, 83% made six threes. North was eight for 13, 62% made three threes. Chris, what do you got? Well, I, I think the number one key of the, the game tonight is the offensive rebounds, Marty. 16 first half offensive rebounds for North. That's just incredible. And you're right, uh, Sam Kaminsky, what a night. 15 boards wow, in the first he, half. He's that is a lot. He's been around the basket and nobody's accounted for him. That's wearing a white jersey. I'm sure uh, Coach Rank talked about that. What what was the run at the end, Marty? 11-0 run uh. at the end. 
And uh, the game started on a 12-5 run for uh, North. So runs were definitely a part of the game. Good steal by Larson. Gets ahead of Split Gerber and scores on the layup on the steal. I think you made a good point about Davis Larson. He's just done all the little things tonight. More, more of the t most of the time, he's the one that you talk about and think about. But he's just got a quiet eight points tonight. He's got four rebounds. He's I like the way you put that, a quiet eight points, because you're absolutely right. You know, he's... You watch at the end of the game, you'll wind up having 15, 16 points, but you'll hardly notice it. Of course, that remains to be seen. South has got to turn this around quickly. Oh, oh it's my. been a North defense, that's for sure. Larson on a mini dunk. South needs a timeout, Marty. They need a timeout. Another throw into the backcourt. Hosenstein's going to lay it in. My goodness. 30 seconds too late, coach. Crazy, crazy. The way this game can turn on you. I love taking care of my mom. It wasn't easy at first. She learned how to better communicate her needs. And you learned how to not ignore yours. I discovered how to make healthier meals. And I discovered how much I enjoyed them. Becoming a caregiver is a learning experience for everyone. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. We'll write a note. Hi, Tom. Not the start that South wanted. Hope I don't get you in trouble. <laughs> 11 more shot attempts for uh, North than South. 20 point game. You know, it's, it's one thing to make a turnover, Chris, but when you make it for uh, easy baskets like that, you know, those are just killers. I can remember there were times when I was coaching JV basketball. When, you know, if they were going to commit a turnover, I'd rather have them a 10-second call against the press and throw it away for a layup. Yep. Govex free throw attempt was not good on. Uh, was good on that first try. So our North shooting. 43% from the floor tonight. Hosenstein knocked to the floor, no call. It was a six point run before uh, South finally got on the board. Shot attempt, uh, good pressure put on underneath. Ginther not able to uh, finish the deal. A good move by Hosenstein. And he can't finish the deal. Boy, he made a great move off of Ginther. And then the uh, defense stands around. Split Gerber, no good. Larson had the ball tipped away from him. I think he but got munched. He got mugged. <laughs> There's Sean. Sean running the uh, floor camera right now. Gutierrez uh, guarding Larson. Oh. Leaping leaner is no good. Gets the offensive rebound and puts it up and in. Another offensive board, Chris. Have we mentioned it yet tonight? Oh, boy. <laughs> I know you have. You got that stat sheet right by you. I have mentioned it big time. Reese and Martin's in the game for uh, Logan Hamilton and A.J. Gutierrez. Uh, coach not happy with something. I don't know about you, Chris, but Logan's been getting some pretty good looks, and he just uh, refuses to shoot the ball.
Need Winter in the game for North. <laughs> Kick out Govac going baseline, kisses it off the glass, no good. Good job by Kaminsky. I like when oh. Jared goes to the basket like that. Yeah. Right idea by Larson, just a bad pass. Got to get his man. This uh, kind of defense was made for Reese. Tyson uh, had no trouble breaking the press. Govec being guarded by Winter. Great help by Davis. Ginther trying to go to the lane, had his shot blocked. He couldn't get the roll. I'll tell you, for being in South Gym tonight, Chris, they are not getting many rolls on that rim, whether it's a girls game or the boys game. Jared Govec at the line again. He was two for two his last trip. Finally broke the scoring drought here in the second half and he does it again with two more. Fifty-three thirty-five. Larson directing traffic. He scores. Oh, oh, he doesn't. Wow. Dylan Martins with a good rebound. First, second miss for Davis. Now he's. Govec. Nobody wanted to guard him. He must. Uh, I don't know what happened there, but he scores an easy three. Was wide open. Dribbled the ball down, and nobody would come out and get him. Intercepted by Split Gerber. Ginther scores and he's fouled. Watch this. Jones is going to pick up the foul. That's his third. All in the second half. Right, Brock. And Lacey in the game for Hasenstein and Jones. Well, they've cut the lead, Marty, from 20. I think the to most. 12. Was, yeah, I think the most was 18, Chris. But doesn't matter. You're right. Still 14 minutes left. Davis attacking again. Tries a different move. Couldn't get Kaminsky with an offensive board. Now put back, and he's fouled. He is having a night. A night to remember. Different move there by Davis. Last time he went right to the rack. This time he used a nice pivot foot. Didn't get it to go. But once again, no, but he chooses to put a body on the North Raiders. Minsky with the free throw finishes off the three point play. It's 56 to 41. Reese being guarded by Winter. Good kick out to Govac. He's open but can't get it to go. Larson with a board. His sixth rebound. Winter going baseline. He's not going to do much down there with Martins in the way, but Kaminsky bails him out with another basket. And South had that little run, Chris, and... Uh, South, is, or pardon me, North has survived that. Split Gerber with a rainbow three, no good. Lacey with the good rebound. Arson thought he saw an opening, but uh, Dylan Martins in the back line stepped out, and uh, that was enough of that. Uh, Lacey with an ill-advised pass, and North loses it. <coughs> A few too many turnovers by North in the second half. Yeah, Tyson Reese dishes it off to Martins, but Kaminsky with a block and a rebound. Well, of course. Wow. Of course, I suppose it's not really a rebound. And off of uh, Tyson Reese's foot, apparently, he doesn't think so. Well, you're either going to have to call a foul or give North the ball there. Here we go. Let's see if we can see bump, it. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> Might
Mike Rank Jr. in the ball game for South. Oh, it's his first Along action. Along with Jesse Montalvo. Yeah, you're right. Wow. I wonder how that arm is. Feed to Kaminsky. Get in there and grab the ball, Mike. Let him stand there with it. North setting up the offense. Got a little get, get It's a, a little clear out. It's the picket fence. Lacey shoots and scores. I don't know about that, Chris. I thought the foul happened before the shot attempt. But uh, Lacey's going to get a basket. Tyson Reese is going to get a foul, and he's not too happy about it. And I don't blame him. Boy, just when you thought South might be crawling back yeah, into this. all of a sudden, and now it could be a 20-point game. Another three-point play the old-fashioned way. It's now 61 to 41. <coughs> For Tyson Reese, that was his first foul. Montalvo over to uh, Gutierrez who kicks it down to uh, Logan Hamilton. Those two boys back in the game. A good spin move, no call. Good play by uh, AJ. He uh, schooled him on that one. And Larson wants to school him and does. Holy cow. Huh. 11.25 left in the ball game. Montalvo with a fadeaway. Not a good shot there by Jesse. Yeah, he's 0 for 6, Marty. Oop, a steal by Logan. We got a two on two. Logan stops short, no good. And a force out. That's the right call. Uh, well, I'm not saying North should have the ball, definitely, but isn't there a foul? I mean, there is no such thing as a force out, is it? Yeah. I mean, if I push you off the stage, it's a foul on me. It's either you're forced out or you're out of bounds. Yeah. Just because you got the ball and go out of bounds, it seems. Yeah. Brian Seymour in the game for the first time. There's a good matchup. Seymour and Reese. I'd like to see those guys go a little one on one. Clear out a side. <laughs> <laughs> good defense there by uh, Split Gerber. I know his brother Andy was over by us today. Saw him a little bit. Andy's Former a good ball pitcher. player, huh? He could play a little bit. Just came here to watch his brother play. Whoa! Not to see him do that, though. Yeah. Well, you know, that's part of uh, when you don't play together a whole lot. Now, they're on the same team, granted. You know, they practice together, but... You know, one guy's playing with the uh, blue team. The other guy's playing on the white team. And, uh, you know, you're just not used to some of the cuts and breaks that they make. 10.41 left in the ball game. Chris Wright can't not wait until the end because he's going to do some interviews. AJ broke the press. Martin's with a good screen. Good ball movement. Tyler Ginther from way outside, no good. Dylan Martins, Hustling. good hustle, and uh, falls down on the bleachers. Hopefully he's okay. Actually, the greater concern was falling against one of those railings over there. That would have hurt. Terrors and Larson paired up. Jones you know, didn't keep his head up very good, Chris. That was yeah. a fourth shot, too. That was just his first shot attempt. And another turnover. And Reese loses the ball. Trying to do a little bit too much. Just 10 turnovers on South. Just? Oops, wrong. Really? No, no. I, no, 11. I'm okay, sorry. But still, I think that's, that's not too bad. Right. They seem, well, they had those three right away to start yeah, the second half. Yeah, that was really a killer. Martins comes over and blocks a shot, but I think he's going to get called for the foul. 
<clears throat> well, North is basically just unloading all their guys to one side and letting Davis take it to the basket. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Yeah, that's probably a good move, too. Let's see. Earlier in the game, Davis had a two for two trip for the line, from the line. He's got 14 points already, Chris. Whoops. Oh, Hoop didn't want it, but uh, it went in. 64 43, largest lead by uh, the Raiders. Reese and Dylan Martins with a putback. Good job by Dylan. Just the third offensive rebound for South in the game. North looking a little stagnant, and the ball is tipped out. No, 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 they're going to say uh, A.J. Gutierrez tipped it out, and that'd be correct. When we were setting up, Chris, down on the floor by the floor camera, South was shooting layups, coming right at us, basically. Just horsing around. I mean, I don't think it was a planned drill by any means. Charge on Hasenstein. Dylan Martin's taking that drive, drawing the foul. Anyway, instead of watching the basket, you know, as you go in and shoot your layup, they were looking into the camera. <laughs> they were 0 for 3. <laughs> North still prime pressure with nine minutes left. Reese steps through the double team and lays it up and in. Nice play by Tyson. Two of five from the floor. Lacey. Short it. But short goes off of a south player. North will get it back. 9.04 left in the ball game. It's 64 to 47. North uh, comfortably in ahead. It was a 11 nothing run at the end of the first half that uh, provided them with the big lead. And a foul on uh, South. I think they're going to get a. Uh, they're going to get Dylan Martins on that foul. If that that is on Dylan, and that's his fourth. Davis having a tough trip again, missing the first one. With that make, Davis now has 16 points. North up 18, Reese right to the basket, can't get it to go. Logan Hamilton got the rebound. He couldn't get it to go, and Larson comes away with the uh, the ball. Lacey scores on a layup. Great pass by Davis Larson. He's doing it all, Chris. Well, we mentioned earlier he was leading the league in assists and rebounds. Second in scoring. Split Gerber had it. Tyson Reese had a look at the three, but passed it up. A.J. Gutierrez gets open in the lane and scores. He's pretty slick, Chris. Yeah, he's five of eight from the floor. He's got 15 of the team's 49. Oh, Zach yeah, struggling. he's just trying to do too much. And I'll tell you, three. trying to go one-on-one -on -one against Tyson Reese is not. Well, he's got three turnovers in a row, Marty. Uh, guess where he's going to find himself. Just sometimes he doesn't let the game just come to him. Struggling from the floor tonight. He's uh, 2 of 10 from the floor. And that's his fifth turnover. Good feed inside to Big Frank, but he couldn't, or Sam, but he couldn't get it in. Govek with the rebound. Nice rebound by Jared. Shot from outside is no good. That one by uh, Evan Opkenorth. Whoa! <laughs> Hit the underside of the rim. 
Good idea by Wright Brock. He had a man open in the opposite corner. He just got to throw a little lower. 7.40 left in the ball game. North up 18. Wright Brock leaning in on Goldback scores. 69-49. Jared has it. Seymour guarding Reese. That's a good matchup. Brian has the quickness to uh, stay with uh, Tyson. Little pressure on the three, can't get it to go. Ball tapped out, Reese has it again. Has it tipped away from behind and then he squats it out of bounds, trying to get it over to Evan Opkenorth who had cut to the basket. Chris Lacey playing a lot tonight, Chris. 6'1 senior. Ginther guarding Seymour. Almost went into the backcourt. Winter driving down the lane and scores. Boy, oh boy, it doesn't matter who's in there now for the north side. They're all making baskets. Kaminsky still in there. He has 24 points. Split curve with a behind the back dribble. Runs one down the lane and scores. Right down 8th Street for that basket, Chris. Yep. Kick out to Lacey. Govac doing the flop. And <laughs> he comes away with the rebound. That's his sixth rebound, Marty. Really. North shooting 47% during the game tonight. No Academy Award for the flop, but he did get the rebound. Well, All another right. game, didn't expect it. Split Gerber, a little too much dribbling inside to Winter. He puts it in on a good pass from uh, Kaminsky, 73-51. Shot no good, Lacey had it go off of his hands. Tyler Ginther missing that shot. <clears throat> now, did you see that inbounds play? Did you see anybody take a sharp cut? It's all walk around. You know who does that all the time on inbounds on the end line? You watch them probably every time they play. Who's that? The Badgers. Yes, I agree with you. I was just thinking if that's what you were thinking. I agree with that statement 100%. They, they don't, don't make sharp cuts? Nope. They Ginther, by the, the way, missed in. the shot. It was blocked by Kaminsky, but he did get an offensive rebound. Evan Opkenorth, he had his shot blocked. Kaminsky is having a night. Jones couldn't get it. Gutierrez with the rebound, fires a long pass down the court, but it's He's tipped away. Yeah, he does. You, you had mentioned, I think we did a game or two earlier where you mentioned he's going to do some pitching this year. Did that last year, too. Yep. And he can hit. Yeah, was that two years ago? Yep. He was smoking. Larson with a block, bust out. Julian Jones scores. Well, Davis has got nine rebounds now, 16 points. So he's back to his typical double-double. Yeah, and Bunch he's had of assists. A, yeah, exactly. I was going to mention that. <laughs> Mike Rank Jr. kissing off the glass but couldn't get it in. Kovic with seven rebounds. Tyler Ginther from the parking lot couldn't get it in. Winter got it in. Pretty good defense, but uh, it's all north now. Another run by the Raiders. Mike Rank no good, an air ball, a bust out by the Raiders. Jones 
scores on a scooping layup. Oh my. And give Davis Larson another assist. That was pretty good replay, Scott. 79 to 51. We didn't think this was going to happen in this game. It's going to be should be a blocking foul. It is on Gutierrez. Get a if you can get a replay of that, Scott. Show our uh, viewers what uh, what was done. Put a shoulder into the uh, North player to keep him off the board. You're going to. Yeah, oh. right there. Leaned into him. That was the problem. It looked worse on the floor. A replay didn't look quite that bad, but oh. uh, he did lean yeah, into I thought him. it looked bad. Devin Oglin in the ball game for North. Also in the game is uh, Nate Circatich. 24 for Kaminsky, 13 for Julian Jones, and 16 for Davis Larson. Circatich should have stepped out on the baseline. He stayed back, and if you look, you can't see it now, but that's exactly what Davis Larson is telling him. You know, when you step down to help, you got to get out of bounds, actually. Falls on Oglin. Reese is going to be shooting free throws. His name's not on the board. We get a good shot of Tyson. Good looking young guy. It's a free throw in. He's got seven points. Eight points now for Tyson. Julian Jones works his way inside and scores off another nice pass by Larson. They're just smooth now, Marty. It's a well-oiled machine. Right now it is. Good lead pass to uh, Dylan Martins, but uh, got his feet a little tangled up. Good block by Ginther. Oh, man. Montalvo in the ball game. Good pass to Dylan Martins. He scores there. Three minutes. Dylan has four points. Right Brock on a nice pass into Circatich, and he gets fouled, and I think that's going to be on Dylan Martins, and if it is, that's his fifth. It is. Jones and Larson come out. Right Brock, Oglin. Potts, Seymour, and Circatich in the game. Nate missed that first one. He'll get one more chance to get on the board. Score a point. Get your name in a paper. Oh. <clears throat> Reese. Stopped on the five yard line. <laughs> <laughs> One more football game to go through tomorrow night yet, Marty. Yeah, who are you picking, by the way? We didn't even talk about that. I'll take the Panthers. Okay. I just think their defense is pretty good. Pretty yeah, it's not as good as Denver's, but no. uh, there's a guy by the name of Newton. He's he's pretty good player. He's big, big, big player. Big, tall. Yeah. He's a Strong, force. 250 pounds, 245 pound quarterback. <laughs> that used to be offensive lineman. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
By the way, they were showing some clips of uh, old Packer, like alumni nights and things, and where the the old guys are walking down the field. You know who's a big dude? Paul Horning. He really? towers over uh, Bart Starr. That's ten points for Reese. It was almost like he was a head taller. He's walking down the sideline. In the ball game for North is uh, number 41, David Sunatag. On the loose, he's going to shoot it. And he scores and fouled by Oglin. Coach is not going to be very happy with the uh, effort by these boys coming in. Tommy Rainitz coming in. Rainitz. Rainitz, a 6'1 junior. Sirkatic, a 6'7 senior. Steps off, plots back in, or is in. There's still 2.20 left, Marty. Yeah, it's a long time. Tyson having a nice game tonight. I think you should have shot the first one. <laughs> if you're going <laughs> to shoot, shoot the first one. Didn't exactly, Devin didn't set his feet on that one there. Montalvo, line drive no good. Plots with the rebound. And Gutierrez committing the foul. AJ, I got him for four. Montalvo couldn't find the hoop tonight. 0 for 7. Tyler Ginther struggled from the floor. Two of 13. <laughs> Plots no good. Logan Hamilton back in the game. Yeah, he just has four points. I don't know, Chris. I'd like to maybe see a little more passing. These guys are just trying to say they scored in North South game and their alumni thing in 10 years got yeah. a ba basket next thing you know they'll have like 10 oh boy Hamilton scores 81 <coughs> 62 and Seymour again driving right into traffic he's got a man open in the corner get him the ball and then run the offense 124 left Reese has 13 points, Chris off the bench. AJ Gutierrez has 15. And nobody helping on that drive, but uh, <laughs> a lot of contact underneath, no call. Oglin. Bingo. Kisses it off the glass. They're going to call that no shot because he didn't call it. Ah, we'll let him have it. Save it. Seymour has it. Seymour looking to spin and shoot and does and scores. Brian Seymour got his basket. Now he can start passing it, Brian. Montalvo looking, step back. Jumper is no good. Son and Tag with the rebound. Kicked on to Tommy Rain. It's his shot is no good. 25 seconds left in the game. Let's see if we get a pass out of Reese. He did. Oh, look inside, but uh, coming away with it is Seymour. He's got a man open in the corner. Oglin, rainbow three is no good. Plots had it stripped away. Logan Hamilton has it. <laughs> Ginther, no good, and that's the horn. End of the ball game, North a winner, 86-62. Stick around, Chris will get some interviews and I'll give you some final to scoring totals. This is the story of a boy who was very sensitive to lights and sounds. So he built secret hiding places where nothing could get in. The boy didn't like looking people in the eye. It made him feel uncomfortable. One day, he found out he had something called autism. His family got him help. 
And slowly, you learned how to live with it better. Early intervention can make a lifetime of difference. Learn the signs at autismspeaks.org. Morning, Gary. We are getschooled.com. You want a college education, don't you? You know you do. That's why we're here. We're free and here to guide you through every step of the way, starting with attendance. <laughs> Gary, financial aid forms. Picking a college, man. You and us we go together like tacos and Tuesday. And I love tacos. Go to getschooled.com. I'm Jenny Garth. And as a mother of three, I know kids worry about a lot of things. Getting enough food to eat shouldn't be one of them. But here in America, that is a real worry for one in five children. This is unacceptable and something Feeding America is working to solve. Through a nationwide network of food banks, Feeding America serves virtually every community in the United States, including yours. See how you can help your community. Visit feedingamerica.org. Together, we can solve hunger. Together, we're Feeding America. Oh, look, a redhead. <gasps> Staring contest. You still got it. I know. Come alive with the forest. The dad was cute. You were looking right at us. Visit discovertheforest.org to find a forest near you. We're back here at South High School. Julian, let's talk a little bit about the game tonight. Uh, let's talk about that first half. You realize you guys had 16 offensive rebounds. They only had one. Yeah. Uh, I just got to give it to Sam. You know, he got up on every board. We work on boards a lot, and Coach tells us, get on the boards, every guy, you know, no matter what. Shot goes up, you get on the board. So that's what we were kind of focused on. We know they were kind of a smaller team, so we knew we had the advantage, and we got the job done. How about Big Sam tonight? 21 rebounds I had him for, 10 on the offensive glass, scored a bunch of points. What about this big guy here? I love him. Hey, he's my teammate. Yeah, that's why I wanted to do 6 eight for a reason. And uh, he got up tonight and he played really well. And I was surprised how many boards he got. You know, and that's, that's just a lot of effort by him and yeah, things like yeah. that. And, you know, you've been with him for a number of years. Well, he's really grown into a nice player. Yeah, I mean, starting off, you know, he didn't develop, and you know, over the years playing with him and seeing his growth, he puts a lot of hard work in, and he's showing it now. You know, I think it pays off, and he's done a good job. I'm proud of him. Uh, one thing for you, uh, you guys, it was a real tight ball game with about two and a half minutes left in the first half. And you guys finished the half on an 11-0 run. That must have been nice going into halftime. Yeah, uh, we had a little confidence at the end, and we started off kind of slow, and we know we realized we needed to wake up, you know, and we went on the run like a good team should do, and get back into it. And then, the, and then to start the second half, you, three easy turnovers, three easy baskets for you, to, so a great start. Yeah, not too bad. And came out, coach gave us, told us to keep going at them, you know, don't let them let up on them and keep going. Okay, I'm going to ask you one last question now. You've played in a couple of these North-South games. What is your experience or some of the things you're going to remember years from now? The excitement, the fans, it's all here. <laughs> Uh, just playing in another game, you know, preparing pre-game rituals and you know, preparing the whole week, just prepare, getting excited, you know, everybody's excited, pumped up, and I'll, I'll never forget. I'll remember this one. Well, congratulations. Sam, we'll talk to you a little bit about how's Ethan Sinalis doing? Uh, I'm not really sure how he's doing. He didn't go back after the game after he rolled his ankle. I'm sure he'll be fine. Well, that, that's good. I hope he, he is all right. Uh, another thing I'd like to talk to you about is you took care of business this week as a team. Two tough road games. It's always tough to go on the road, but you, you guys took care of business. Yeah, it's always harder to go on the road, but we keep it up. We keep pushing, and we keep getting better as a team every day. Now, you kind of put the pedal to the metal there in the second half, finished them off. You know, close game, as I mentioned with Julian, you finished off the first half, but you really got closed big time in the second half and made it kind of comfortable there and got some other guys in the game, too. Yeah, we know we're a good team. We know what we're capable of. If we come out and show what we can do, we'll keep getting better and better and keep doing what we do. Well, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Julian here. What has your experience like been over the last few years playing in these North-South games? Uh, North-South games, you can kind of say it's just another game, but it's really not. There's a lot of it, a lot of people here, a big environment, but you can't let it get to you. 
Well, I could tell you had a nice night tonight. A few rebounds and a few points. Yeah, my teammates really got me going, get, finding me in the post. They played a triangle and two denying Davis and Zach, so they, the other guys found me. Yeah, they did. They had that little wrinkle in there. Well, congratulations, gentlemen, to the nice victory, and good luck the next couple weeks. you got a couple big games yet against Bayport and De Pere. We're looking forward to those games. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. All right. Uh, we want to give you some scores from earlier games today in the freshman games. North won 62 to 44 in gold game, uh, gold team action. The blue team won 58 to 50 in JV action. North JVs won 80 to 66. Uh, with this 86 to 62 varsity win, the uh, boys swept their series with South. So uh, this time around, North went 7 and 0, and uh, it was a great night, great day for uh, the Raiders. Uh, North ups, this is on boys varsity now, North boys up their record to 15 and 2, 11 and 2 in conference and remain one loss behind the pier. Uh, their next game will be on Tuesday when they play Bayport on February 9th. Our next game will be at North on Friday, February 12th when they uh, host Manitowoc. South drops to uh, 4 and 12, 3 and 9 in conference. Their next game will be on Tuesday when they host Yes, it's another one of those nights when there are two home games in Sheboygan in the conference. When they host Pulaski, that should uh, be an interesting matchup. Some scoring for South. Tyson Reese had a great game off the bench with 13 points. A.J. Gutierrez had 15. Jared Gobeck was the leading scorer for the Red Wings tonight. He had 16 points. For North, their leader was Sam Kaminsky with 24 points. Davis Larson chipped in 16, had an all-around great game. And Julian Jones, you also saw him in the interview. He had 15 and, again, had a great game, uh, scoring some points, grabbing some rebounds, and playing excellent defense. Our next game, like I mentioned, will be on Friday when we uh, go to North. They host Manitowoc. For the, oh, one more thing. I saw this. At Disney World today, Sheboygan South's cheer team just missed going to the finals. Also, another Wisconsin team just missed making it to the finals. Sun Prairie in that cheer competition at Disney World. That does it for us. For the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.